When I, when I attacked Michelle, uh, I wouldn't really call it attack, went up to her as she was walking down the sidewalk and I said, you're, uh, you're going to have to learn this lesson. And I just held her by the shoulder and I popped her in the head twice. And, you know, she moved her head the wrong way and I snapped her nose. And she fell down and I just walked away. She said I struck her about 20 times, but she was unconscious before she hit the ground. Well, the fact that she got me put in prison, <laughs> she, she knows that, that uh, the bullshit she pulled, that the only way to keep from sending her front teeth flying out her asshole is to have me behind this glass. Because she's a bitch, and she deserved that the shit knocked out of her, but you know, what the hell. And when you think about that incident, how does, it, how does that make you feel? Makes me feel like I should have killed her. She's such a pain in the ass. Do I think I was a good father to liberty and faith? Yes, I, I mean, you know, I tried to be. Oh, gosh. Oh, my fondest memory of my daughters. Um, well, I have another daughter. She's 30 now, Christy. When, um, when we used to all get together and go somewhere, it was a kind of a little bit of a three ring circus, if you can imagine. Three highly energetic, fun, Little girls just having a great time. Oh, how did Faith and Liberty die? They said they died of gunshot wounds. So there's nothing about that that you remember? Not particularly, no. I think it was the police called us and said that they had, they had found him. But he had gone and um, Picked up a girlfriend right after that, um, and then went next door to a tattoo parlor and had um, two roses in barbed wire tattooed on his arm for faith and liberty. Yeah, the, the night that I was arrested, I had the roses. Do they have any significance? Yeah, I love roses. 